Tutorial Mini Flow Tack. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to perform a mini flow tack for the diagnosis of soil transmitted helminthiasis and schistosomiasis. 1. Equipment To perform mini flow tack, the following equipment is needed gloves, a mini flow tack apparatus, a fill flow tack, a scale, a pipette tip of 1 milliliter, a wooden tongue depressor, a measuring cylinder, flotation solution with a specific density of 1.2 saturated salt solution for the assessment of soil transmitted helminthiasis, or with a specific density of 1.35 zinc sulfate solution for the assessment of schistosomiasis, a compound microscope, a counter. 2. Assembling the mini flow tack. The mini flow tack apparatus first needs to be put together. It consists of three parts the base with two numbered flotation chambers, the reading disc with two grids, and the key. We will first assemble the base and the disc. At the top of the base, you find a groove. At the bottom of the disc, you see a protrusion. Put the disc on the base so that the protrusion fits into the groove. You should now be able to turn the disc. In order to add the key, you need to turn the disc in such a way that the grids of the disc are perpendicular to the chambers of the base. Now you will see a hole at the right side of each chamber in which you need to put the matching protrusions at the bottom of the key. Finally, use the key to turn the disc so that the grids are situated above the chambers. At this stage, the key can no longer be disconnected from the disc. 3. Preparing the sample. First, take a clean fill flow tack and open it. Label the fill flow tack and place it on the scale. Press the tear key and add exactly 2 grams of stool with a wooden tongue depressor. Afterwards, add 38 milliliters of the flotation solution with the correct specific density. After closing the fill flow tack, remove the cap of the applicator so that you can thoroughly mix the suspension by moving the applicator up and down. In order to fill the mini flow tack, it is recommended that you tilt the mini flow tack using a 1 cm thick rectangular prism. Make sure that the slits are on top of the chambers. Take the fill flow tack and remove the cap of the other opening so that a pipette tip can be screwed on. It is recommended that you cut off the top of the tip to avoid its obstruction while filling the mini flow tack. It is essential that the suspension is homogenized again just before you fill each chamber. Fill each chamber by squeezing the fill flow tack. To avoid air bubbles from the remaining procedure, the chambers should be filled until the meniscus is formed. After an incubation period of 10 minutes at room temperature, use the key to turn the disc. The grids are now perpendicular to the chambers. You can remove the key but keep the base and the disc together. These two parts should be placed in the microscope holder with the chambers sliding in the gap in the middle of the holder. Place the microscope holder and the mini flow tack on the microscope table and systematically screen the grids for the presence of helminth eggs by using the counter. After the grids are examined, the mini flow tack can be dissembled. First, turn the disc again. Use the key to remove the disc. The entire apparatus can be washed and reused. Acknowledgements. The raw material for this tutorial was collected during a field study financially supported by an institutional university project of the Flemish Inter-University Council. The Research Foundation Flanders supported the development of the tutorial through a postdoctoral mandate grant.